All right, here we have the Common English Bible New Testament. A fresh translation to touch the heart and mind. Yeah, uh -huh. and make your stomach sick. Okay, here it says, Common English Bible is a fresh translation of the Bible, including the Apocrypha that is used in Anglican, Orthodox, and Catholic congregations. Oh, isn't that just so wonderful? And look what it starts out with, of course. King James Version of the Bible was published in 1611. Therefore, readers in the 21st century, 400 years after the creation of the KJV, need and deserve a new translation. Uh-huh. Here you have the Catholic again. goes down, talks about the different translators. Some come from the Mennonite, yeah, Baptist, Roman Catholic Church. Out in the open, just totally, we don't even care anymore. Yeah, Catholics and Protestants all working together, Baptists and stuff, you know. People from the Anabaptist tradition come along and working with Roman Catholics. Just disgusting. But let's show you some of the perversions in here. Here we have Matthew chapter 15, verse 20. No, I'm sorry, 30. And in the King James Bible, it says maimed. Jesus was healing maimed people, people that had no hand, people that had no leg. He was causing the maimed to be whole. They say injured. And the injured were walking. Uh huh. Uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 23. In the King James Bible, it says, Get thee behind me, Satan. Jesus said to Peter, For thou art an offense unto me. Look what it says here. You are a stone that could make me stumble. So apparently Jesus was worried about sinning because of what Peter was saying. Absolutely ridiculous. Matthew chapter 25, the judgment of the nations. They replace the term, the Son of Man, with the Human One. Capital H, capital O. Hmm... A little bit of occult, New Age uh, philosophy going on there. And then over here, the King James Bible says, King, with a capital K. They make it a lowercase k. And you can see here they add N sisters. Okay, there's no Greek manuscript support for this from any Greek text. Okay, they're adding this thing and then they'll come out and they'll say, this is more accurate, the most accurate ever and everything else. Just totally lying. Now look at this. This is interesting here. We have Mark chapter 1 verse 24 uh, Jesus rebukes a devil and it says I know thee who, the, who thou art the Holy One of God and it's capital H capital O in the King James Bible but here they lower put, make it into lowercase lowercase h lowercase o hmm interesting very interesting they'll capitalize the human one but not the Holy One uh, I don't know why they say this here, the maniac of Gadara there, the man possessed with devils. It says uh, the Gadarenes in the King James Bible, they say Gerasenes. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, he ran and knelt before him. They remove a very important thing here from this text. The King James Bible says that this man possessed with devils ran and worshipped him. See, people that are possessed with devils oftentimes will worship You'll see them in churches. Okay, Jesus answered, "This uh, throwing this kind of spirit out requires prayer. King James Bible says prayer and fasting. Again, just like the NIV, these Roman Catholic perversions, which is what this book is, they, these Roman Catholic perversions will remove fasting when it comes to throwing out powerful devils. Very interesting why they would do that, what the motivation would be there. Uh, here again, you see the human one. Uh, talks, the Bible talks about uh, offending a little one, and it'd be better to have a millstone round, put around about your neck and thrown into the, cast into the sea, thrown into the lake. <laughs> and of course, uh, verse 44, verse 46, where Mark chapter 9 is taken out, and it says about uh, 944, 46, is omitted in most critical editions of the Greek New Testament. Yeah covered in other videos. Uh, Jesus warns, Mark chapter 13, he warns about people coming saying, I am Christ. They say, I'm the one. Hmm. And here you have Alexandrian uh, textual criticism entering into the text. It's as a header for the a passage. Endings added later. The last 12 verses of Mark's Mark are just, oh, they're just added later, you know. 
So their philosophy here, which is not true by the way, the 12 verses were part of the originals. Okay, there's plenty of manuscript support for them. I'm not going to get into that here. But they just they put in their philosophy right into the text now. It's just endings added later. Absolutely ridiculous. Luke 2.33, you know what they're going to do here. His father and mother. Just like all other Catholic perversions. Okay. Um, it, Jesus replied, it's written, people won't live only by bread. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Okay. They get, they get rid of the word of God there. But here again, it says here, verse 8, Luke chapter 4, verse 8, uh, the King James Bible says, Get thee behind me, Satan. They remove it. Why? That's a better translation, I guess, right? Uh, here again, you have another devil saying, The Holy One of God. And they do the same thing again. The human one is capitalized. The Holy One is lowercase. Okay? Um, here you have devils coming out and they say, Thou art Christ, the Son of God. I have the real reading over here. Here it's just, you are God's son. Very interesting. Blessed be poor. The real Bible says, this says, happy are you who are poor. Well, there's a lot of poor people out there that are blessed, but it's not always easy to be poor. You're not always going to be happy. You can have joy, sure, but being poor is a very rough thing. Okay? You'll be blessed for it if you're doing it for the right reasons. Okay, if you are poor because you're not willing to cut corners in business and whatever, well, then you'll be blessed. But you won't always be happy. Bunch of liars. Okay, here's interesting. King James Bible says lawyers. They change it to legal experts. Luke chapter 11, verse 46. Over here, fear the one. That's the one you should fear. It's him in your King James Bible. Now, is there any doubt to a saved person whether or not God is just a, the one? No, he's him. He's a male. Okay? Again, it's just ridiculous. And they, and they make a lowercase too, by the way. Um, and now, in uh, Luke chapter 16, where you have the rich man and Lazarus, it's Abraham's side, not Abraham's bosom. And he's being tormented in hell, King James Bible. Here it's just the place of the dead. It's no longer Abraham's bosom, it's at his side. Okay? And Abraham says to him, son, but they replace it with child. Now, now it's just ridiculous. This isn't a politically correct passage here. It's a rich man. Why would you change it from son? It's obvious in the text that he's a man. And they even say it in here. Okay? It just, just weird. Again, you have the thing of thrown into a lake instead of cast into the sea. You know. Just stupid. Here you have the scribes being rebuked by Jesus. They change it to the legal experts. Uh-huh. Uh, down here you have, in the King James Bible, it says, When thou art converted. Jesus is warning Peter. Okay? But they, they make it not about just Peter. It's you all. When you have returned, see, and then they add in sisters again. So, you know, very important doctrinal thing here. Peter was not saved when Jesus was physically with him on the earth. Salvation came after Jesus died on the cross. So that's why it says in the King James Bible, when thou art converted, but not when you have returned. There again you have the human one. Not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. Um, here in Luke chapter 23, verse 38, in the King James Bible, you have three languages listed. You have Greek, Latin, and Hebrew, that it's written, the inscription above the cross, and it just it takes that out of verse 38. Now, a lot of people try to say that it's a contradiction because the things that are written in the different Gospels about the inscription on the cross, it's three different things. It says three different things. Well, this verse right here is used to disprove it because there's three different languages. 
okay, representing the three races, by the way. But why would they take that out? Very, very weird. Okay. Uh, into thy hands I commend my spirit, King James Bible. I entrust my life. Well, if, if Jesus entrusted his life to, to God the Father, Jesus lost his life on the cross. So God the Father didn't do a very good job, I guess. See, it's just ridiculous. They changed the truth of God into a lie. It was his spirit. And then it says here, he breathed for the last time. Hmm. For the very last time there, the last time, it says. Isn't that incredible? Uh, in my Father's house are many mansions, Jesus says. This thing says, my Father has room to spare. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, my Father's house has room to spare. Um says here in the King James Bible, it says that the Holy Ghost would be in you. Here it just says with you. Not in you, with you. Oh boy. You are, or ye are clean in the King James Bible. We have John chapter 15. It just says, you are already trimmed. What? I mean, you got a haircut or something? Ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Okay, uh, here we have Acts chapter 20, um, verse 28. It says, God hath purchased you with his own blood. Here you have the John MacArthur translation. He obtained with the death of his own son. Not the blood, just the death. Heresy, just absolute total heresy. Romans chapter 1, uh, verse 25 who changed the truth of God into a lie. It says in the real Bible, the King James Bible, it says they traded God's truth for a lie. No, I don't think so. They're covering up their own sin here. Okay, These people changed God's truth, the King James Bible, into a lie. So they're covering up for their sin.